Good morning, everyone. Phonics again. Well done. Bright and early. Let's get started. So this morning, we're going to start with our tricky words. OK, I've got my cards here, um, but we're going to read some tricky words and we're going to write some tricky words, too. So you will need your pencil and you will need your paper right from the very beginning today. If you've not got them, hit pause and go grab them. OK, if you're ready to start, I'm going to show you the flashcard. I want you to shout the tricky word at the screen. Are you ready? Here we go. The. Well done. T-H-E. The. You. Fantastic work, everybody. You. Now, remember, with this tricky word, there's only this letter here at the end that actually does any work. The Y and the O, they don't do anything, do they? You. Was. Great job. Well done. Hmm. Two. Brilliant. OK, are you ready? I'll say the tricky word. I want you to write it as many times as you can in 10 seconds. I know, challenging work this, isn't it? There are the 10 seconds on the clock. Here comes the tricky word. You ready? I. I. I want you to write the word I. How many times can you do it? Ready? Steady. Go. Two. One. Show me, show me. Let me see. <gasps> wow. I know that tricky word's quite an easy tricky word, but my goodness, it looks like you might have written it ten times. Fantastic work. I... There it is. It's just the capital letter I. There's quite a few of our tricky words do that, don't they, with letter names? Hmm. Let's keep going. Go! My word! Well done! They! That one's really quite complicated. Look. It's got the hidden inside of it. Can you see that? They. I can see another word hidden inside. Can you? If I cover up that one, if I cover up that one, what do you spot? That's right. He. So this is the word they. Hmm. Well done. Good reading. B. My. Ah. Your turn. You ready? Get your pencil ready. Here are your 10 seconds. I'll shout the word. 10 seconds to write it as many times as you can. OK, um, it's very similar to the word I. It's got a letter in there saying its name, not a phoneme. OK, there's a little clue. There are your 10 seconds. Here it comes. He. Let's say one more time. He. Ready? Steady. Three, two, one. Show me, show me. Ah, look at that. H and an E. Good writing, everybody. Good writing. That's what it looks like. An H and an E. And that E says its name, not its phoneme, F. Well remembered. You ready? Shout these ones at me, please. Me. Into. We. Last one's for you. You ready? I shout it, you write it. 10 seconds on the clock. Here it comes. No. I'll do it one more time. No. 10 seconds. Ready? Off you go. Three, two, one. Show me, show me. Brilliant. Good. 
No way, you've written that seven, is that seven times? Brilliant, N and an O spells no. This one here does its phoneme mm. This one does not. It says its name. Well done, everyone. Great work. Brilliant writing. Let's move on to something new. So let me show you a new digraph today. Yesterday we learned trigraph, do you remember? I, I. Well, today we're going to learn a new digraph. Now this one can live in the middles of words. It can also live at the beginnings of words and it can live at the ends of words too. Okay, you can go anywhere. This one is brilliant. Now, I want you to have a good look at that picture because this gives us a clue to the sound that our new digraph makes. Yeah, it's a mixer for mixing up food. Brilliant. Um, okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to pretend that your hands are the whisks going round in the mixer. Do you think you can do that for me? Okay, take them like this. I'm going to move them round. Brilliant. Well done. Great action, everyone. Okay, now we need to make the sound. Do you know what sound it makes? <laughs> well done. Uh... Brilliant. Do it one more time for me. Uh... Great job. And it looks like this. Remember, a digraph. It's got two letters. There they are. The letter U and the letter R. This one by itself goes... Ooh, ooh, ooh. And this one by itself goes... Err. But you know with a digraph, we put them together and they make something new. So U and R together make the sound... Uh... Okay, let's have a look at this digraph inside some words. Okay, there's a picture here. Can you see it? Hmm. This person is not very well here on their hand and somebody else is pouring some cold water on. What might they have done? Yeah, I think so too. I think it's a burn. Burn? You say that word. Well done. Yes, burn has got the er uh phoneme inside of it, hasn't it? It's in the middle. Let me show you. Here is the word burn. You blend with me. One, two, three. B. Er. Uh, n. Bit faster. B. Burn. B. Burn. Burn. The word is burn. It's not nice to burn yourself, is it? Hmm. Now I wonder. I bet you can guess the next word before. I show you. What's that girl doing there with the tap? Remember the word has got to have an er. Uh. Brilliant. I agree. I think the girl is turning the tap. Here is the word turn. Blend with me. One, two, three. T, uh, n. A bit faster. T, uh, n. T, uh, n. Turn. Great work. Well done. OK, let's make it more difficult. This time, I'm going to show you the word, but not the picture. I wonder, can you blend by yourself and shout the word at the screen. 
there's how you word. You blend it and shout it back at me. Oh, fantastic work, you lot. Fantastic work. Right, let's blend it together. Here we go. One, two, three. F, uh, f, uh, f, uh, f, uh. The word is fur. Fur on your dog. Fur on your cat. Fur. Let's see if we can do that with another word. Here we go then. This one's a little bit longer. This has three graphemes. You blend it and shout it at the screen. Brilliant work, everyone. Hurt. I agree. Let's blend it together just to double check. One, two, three. Hurt. Hurt. Hurt, hurt, fantastic. Oh, look, poor little bear, it's hurt his knee, hurt. Now here's an interesting picture. Does anybody know what that is? Yes, that's right, it's a church. Hmm. Do you know what's special about the word church? It's got two graphemes that are exactly the same. Are you ready? I'll show you. There it is, look. We've got ch at the beginning, ch at the end. And there is our new digraph, er, in the middle. Blend with me. One, two, three. Ch, uh, ch, ch, uh, ch, ch, uh, ch, church. Wow, six letters, but only three phonemes, only three sounds. Okay, so it's your turn to write. I hope. You've got your paper and your pencil ready. You can see just down here, I've got my phoneme frame. If you've not got one ready, um, draw one now. Okay, so you are going to do the segmenting. You are gonna do the tearing apart of the words to write them down. So we're listening very carefully for the phonemes inside the words, and then we'll write the graphemes down here in our phoneme frame. Okay, so over there in the corner, you can see a picture of the girl doing something with the tap. What's she doing to the top of the tap? Turn. Well done. So turn is one of our words with our new phoneme, uh, inside of it. Where is the uh in turn? That's right. It's in the middle. Okay, so here we go. I'll say the word, you say the word, and then we'll try and catch the phoneme at the beginning. Are you ready? Turn. Well done, louder if you can. Turn. Brilliant, this time we'll catch it, get ready. Turn. I got it, did you? What sound comes at the beginning of turn? Yes, I got it as well. T. Hmm. Oh yes, er, uh, that goes in the middle. T. Er. Uh, what comes at the end of turn? T. Er. Uh. Mm. Well done, you guys. Okay. Are you ready? Press pause and write turn for me. Okay, so how did you do? Really well, I expect. Are you ready? Let me have a look. Brilliant, well done. So we caught the letter T, didn't we, at the beginning? That makes the t, t, t sound. And then we knew already that our new digraph, er, uh, goes in the middle. 
U and R. And at the end of turn, we heard the phoneme N. Turn. Blend with me, everybody. One, two, three. T, er, n. T, er, n. T, er, n. Turn. Great job. Now it's your turn, by yourself. So here is our new picture. I'll say the word, you'll shout it back. And then you're going to have a go at writing this word on your paper. So this word with our er uh, phoneme inside of it. I'll just write er uh for you at the top so we remember what it looks like. The letter U and the letter R. This word is surf. You say? Well done. Surf. Surf. Segment and write. Welcome back, everybody. So, surf. S. I can hear at the beginning of the word surf. S. Er. That's where our er goes in the middle. S. Er. S. Er. Yes, that's right. S. Er. F. Surf. Well done, everyone. Great writing. Here's another one for you to write. I've left our er uh, there at the top just to remind you what it looks like. You'll probably find you can hear this one in the middle of the word. And this word is for this little bit on the top of the girl's head. A curl, you say. Curl. Well done. Segment and write. Curl. Welcome back, everybody. So, curl. What did we hear at the beginning of the word? Curl. K -k curl. I can hear. Now, we've got some choices, haven't we? Mm. It could be a K or it could be a C. Now, in this word, it happens to be a C. K, curl, k, earl. Oh, yes, there we go. In the middle, our new digraph, er. Uh, curl, k, er. Uh. There we go. Well done, all. Now, I know I always say that double consonants usually go at the ends of words, but in this word, We've only got a single L. And that's because this sound is a long sound, not one of our short sounds like I or A or O. Curl. Blend with me. One, two, three. K, er, all. K, er, all. K, er, all. Curl. Great job, everyone. Well done. Our final job is you doing some writing. So I'm going to say a sentence for you, one word at a time. And what I would like you to do is hit the pause button after each word and write it down on your paper. Now, a few things just to remember about sentences. They start with capital letters. And in between your words, you are going to need to leave finger spaces. That's so that we can see where each word is. And at the end of your sentence, you are going to need a full stop. OK, here we go. I'll tell you the whole sentence and then I'll break it down into chunks for you to have a go at writing. Here it comes. The dog curls up in bed. That's our sentence. And we're going to do two words at a time. Are you ready? Listen very carefully. Here come your first two words. The dog. I'll say them again. The dog. 
press pause and write those two words, the dog, on your paper. Well done, how did you do? Did you remember the capital letter T at the beginning of your sentence for the? You did, well done. And did you remember the finger space? Can you see here in between the words so that we can see where they are? Good job. Are you ready? Here come the next two words. Curls. Say them again. Curls up. Press pause and write those two words. Curls up. Next. Welcome back. How did you do? Well done. Now, look, I've just popped some sound buttons underneath the word curls, because this was one of those words that we learnt today with the er phoneme in. Curls. Curls. Did you segment that one OK? And did you remember the finger spaces between your words? Good. Well done. Here are your final two words. And remember, something needs to go at the end. Here are your words. In bed. I'll say it again. In bed. OK, press pause and write those two words. In bed on your paper. Hey, how did you do? Well done. Here are mine in bed. B -a -d bed. And I've got a finger space here between my words. And at the end, did you remember to pop one of these in? A full stop just there at the end of the sentence. Good job. Well done. Let's read the sentence back all together. Are you ready? One, two, three. The dog curls up in bed. Well done, team. Well done. You've worked so hard again this morning. Fantastic work, everybody. Great. Keep it up. And it's really great to see some of those pictures that are coming through on email. Pictures of you working really hard and being very helpful for mummy and daddy. And we are so proud of how hard you're working at school. So keep it up. Not long to go now. All right. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.